Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. Well, happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to our annual Christmas slash Hanukkah slash Joyful <laughs> Night edition of Inside West Virginia Politics. I am Mark Curtis, along with my co-host Adrian Robbins and our special guest Randall Reed Smith, who's the curator of arts, history, and culture for the state. Arts, West culture, and history. That's so right. close. I'm supposed to <laughs> alphabetical, alphabetical <laughs> order. Arts, culture, and history. I had a little problem with spelling in grade school, but we won't get into that here. Well, let's get right to it. Joyful Night. You've been doing this for so many years, and now it's finally here yet again. What are you looking most forward to? Uh, I am looking most forward to everybody coming together, all the music, all the events that we have. Uh, this is my 15th joyful night. Uh, I've been at the state a little over 14 years, and it's the night that I look forward to most in the year. It's just a wonderful event. It's neat to see West Virginians from all walks of life, different faiths, different backgrounds come together. It's, it's just a lot of fun, and it's always a beautiful occasion. As, the, as this mansion, I mean, talk about the decorations here. This mansion is absolutely stunning. I should have mentioned at the start, we're at the governor's mansion. Well, here at the governor's mansion, it's just, it's West Virginia's home. And I have so many friends I know around the state. I work all 55 counties and I, they always want to talk about what's the mansion look like at Christmas and through the holidays. And I just say, you have to come and see it. It's just warm, it's welcoming, it's our home and it's open to everybody. And the decorations this year are stunning. I mean, whether it's the governor's mansion or the Capitol, it's beautiful during Christmas time, during the holidays. You've been doing this for 15 years. You've outlasted multiple governors at this point, what were kind of the differences of each governor or each governor's wives and how they decorated and wanted to do Christmas? Well, I don't really look at it as differences. I look at what is the, the continuity, what brings us together. They all love people and they love West Virginia. Uh, it was all a personal touch for each first lady, each governor. They they really get totally into the holiday season for, for West Virginia. We always talk about the significance of the history of Cass Gilbert, uh, one of the most famous architects in American history. History, building our beautiful capital. Now, he didn't design the mansion, but this mansion is a work of art. The mansion is definitely a work of art, and I, I'm so glad you were learning when we were talking <laughs> earlier. Because Cass Gilbert, as you know, this was his next to last building. Uh, the last building he built, of course, was the United States Supreme Court, and our Supreme Court is the mini model of what became the United States Supreme Court. Uh, Martins, who was uh, the architect from uh, Charleston that built the mansion, when Cass Gilbert saw the designs, he said, this is exactly what I envisioned and it's it's gorgeous it's beautiful so many people wonder what the mansion is like inside if you could show somebody one thing in the mansion what do you think is the must-see thing the must-see thing in the mansion I love the dining room oh no my favorite <laughs> is in the library, that, that beautiful paneling. It's all West Virginia wood. I, it, when they redid the mansion, I was here when they were redoing the mansion, every little detail that went into it, every fiber, like for instance, the rugs, they were from a New York company, but the owner was a West Virginian. And it just had so much more meaning to, the, to him because he was West Virginian. I think of Christmas as being a holiday for kids of all ages, it really is, but it, it primarily I think is for kids. And you work a lot with our youth, the marching band, Bands, the, the history bowl and so many things. Any special memories of a, a high school kid or a middle schooler getting up and you know belting out a tune at the uh, joyful <laughs> night? I mean, there's some great musical performances, aren't there? I, I can tell you, it's such an honor for them to be here, and they talk about it. They are so proud to come and perform at our state's capital, and just to see the talent, the abundance of talent that we have in our state, it's just it's heartwarming. And I always tell these kids wherever I meet them. West Virginians are the best. We're at the top <laughs> because we get something that nobody else gets and it's called home learning. And you're schooled at home and it's just a wonderful time. And tell us, who, who is all going to be out there on the Capitol steps? Okay, so we open at the, the Capitol with uh, the Capitol Middle Marching Knights. They're the eight-time uh, consecutive and current West Virginia State Marching Band champions. Uh, then we have beside them uh, Greenbrier East, who was runner-up this year. So we have red and green on the top, and then we have the uh, the VIPs, Voices in Perfection, from Capitol High School. So they're all out there in the front, and the curators want to like sing a little ditty. And then the governor, of course, will give everybody his holiday message. And then 
then we'll go into uh, what is my favorite thing about Joyful Night is when we go in and we, we celebrate the service of our service personnel, first responders, veterans, and the Gold Star Mothers. It's just a very special time. Then we go over to the, the, the Culture Center, the Greenbrier Entertainers are going to be there. We have a wonderful new talent from McDowell County, TJ Goins, who's going to sing. And then we hear it up here in the evening for Twas the Night Before Christmas and all through the house. Well, Such we're, we're going to stop by all of these events. It's wonderful. We want to thank Randall Reed Smith, the Curator of Arts, Culture, and History for the State of West Virginia. Wow. Wow. God bless you and a Merry Christmas, Brandon. Thank you. Thanks Merry Christmas to you as well. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. And we're going to continue inside West Virginia politics after this break.